Hey guys, this is Dan from iPadJailbreak.com. Um, today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on a full screen for iPad. And I think it came out uh, it came out when the iPad first generation had a jailbreak in iOS 5. Um, this one runs $1.99 and it gives you gestures that you can run in uh, Safari. I'll back up here. You can go look at the settings here. So full screen for Safari here. Um, you can see you can have it start in full screen mode. Um, you can keep your status bar or not if you'd like. Um, transparent button bar, uh, vibrate if gesture fails. Um, and you also have a pop-up theme, different colors for that. So I go into here, you can see if I have a, a left, right, two finger swipe, it's going to tab forward and back. So if I go into Safari here, I'll leave it in not, in not full screen mode to show you. If I, if I swipe to the the, this direction, it switches to the Cult of Mac tab. I swipe back, jailbreak zone, iPad jailbreak. All right, going back to my settings here, a three finger swipe will send me forward and back in my browser. So if I'm on this tab here, I have a back and forward arrow. So let's say I want to go to Gadget Lab. So three finger swipe goes back a screen, three finger back or this way will take me back forward basically. It's basically a pushing those two buttons. Uh, when you're in full screen mode, which I have it set up to double tap, it's going to br bring me to full screen mode. Um, double tap takes me back to my original way. As you can see here, so I have a three finger swipe. You can have it invert. So if you want to go left to do something and right, you know, if you want to go back by going this direction or back by going that direction. Alright, so you also have a one finger double tap and a short hold. I don't have that set up to do anything, but these are the options. You can have it set up to go to bookmarks, scroll up, scroll down, those kinds of things, open a URL. Um, but I just have that one turned off right now. One finger double tap is going to toggle me into full screen mode. Uh, one toggle triple tap is going to reload that same web page. I don't have the two finger double tap. Again, you can set that for uh, creating an empty tab. So let's go ahead and set it for that. So a double a two finger double tap. So if I go back here into this one, I go two finger double tap, it should open up a new tab for me. So the three finger tap, the toggle full screen mode. So I have that both set up for that. I'll change this to close current tab. So now if I use do a three finger tap, I can I can close that tab. like that. I can also have a shake enabled so I can shake my iPad and get it in, in and out of full screen mode. Full screen mode. Full screen. Instead of the double tap like this. Um, you can set the sensitivity. Uh, low and high. You don't. I mean, if you don't want to accidentally jump around, uh, you can set the shake. So I have it set. Let's say I have set it with a low sensitivity on my shake, then it then it should uh, activate pretty easily. Um, this action pop up here. One finger tap, short hold. So if I go back into here, so I need a one finger tap and a short hold. So that pulls open my little menu bar here which is really handy when you're in full screen mode, which I'll put back in here. So now I can go back and go forward. I can open a new tab and everything right through here so I can hit go to URL. And it takes me to Apple Store. You can set that up to go wherever you want to, your home page or whatever else. As you can see here, if I go back one, my open my URL is going to open up to apple.com. Uh, it's a pretty nice little tweak uh, if you'd like the full screen mode for the iPad in Safari. Um, it's got a lot of good gestures. Uh, it's $1.99. Uh, a lot of three finger swipes. It brings a lot of swipes, uh, gestures into the Safari and your internet experience. Uh, it's pretty intuitive. Uh, full screen mode toggle. Um, other than that, it's a pretty nice tweak. Uh, if these videos have any questions, just uh, drop a comment on the YouTube video or on the on this uh, post on iPadJailbreak.com, or you can be sure to follow us at iPadJailbroken on YouTube. Thanks.